going to be on my way to the airport here in a little bit. I'm waiting on my ride right now. I'm about to go to the most wicked state ever. I didn't really think I was going to end up in this state, but I uh, believe I found what I've been looking for. So last three months I've been trying to look for this specific car, this exact spec car, like exact the color and transmission. I thought I made my mind up back when I made the video, you know, I'm saying I made my decision. I did make my decision, but I just changed it slightly. And I thought I was dead set on this spec and color and all that. And I kind of changed my mind. And I don't know why, but I'm always looking for the rare spec of cars whenever I'm trying to buy one. And it's been tough, man. The last three months, I've been looking for this specific car. And I think I finally found it. <laughs> Here's the Shelby. It is on stock wheels. The only thing I changed, it's still cam, still on the 85. Motor's still good. I haven't raced it since Texas 2K. So it's not going to be raced until I build the motor. But I actually kind of want to start it. Show you guys that it's not blowing up or anything. I think I got some time. I might as well just start up for you guys. Oh man. Fuck it, right? I'm sorry, neighbor. They already hate me anyways. Oh, and I got a pump on it too. 48T, it's good. back on stock wheels again some minor changes but I'll explain everything once I'm at the airport my ride should be here in a little bit so Thanks again. I'll see ya. Bye. All right, back. Let me find somewhere where I can sit down and really tell you what's going on. My gate is down. I left you guys hanging. I think it was March going into April. And it was just a weird time, man. These last three, four months, I've been trying to find this specific car and it's been real tough. It, I don't know, I don't know why I always look for the hard colors, but I just want you guys to know it has been it's just been a weird time. Ever since April, like the whole virus getting serious and the lockdown quarantine starting and then the, the protests and everything, it was just just a weird time for me like and not only did I stop racing the Shelby like I don't want to race it right now until I build the motor like there's nothing really for me to do I didn't really want to go to car meets like because of the virus and stuff I mean I'm at the airport now like whoop de -whoop, I guess probably being here is more risky than being at a car meet but I guess when everything first started happening I was a little sketched out and I didn't really know what to film and I made up my mind on what second car I wanted, but like I said, I may have changed my mind slightly 
and um, it's, I've just been trying to look for this car the last three, four months, man, and like I said, the last two slipped away from my fingers. Uh, I was about to just get any color I could or any car I could, but I didn't want to give up. Like, I wanted to get the specific color and transmission and other stuff in the car. The one that I'm about to go see, um, it's the right color and the right transmission. Everything else I'll, I'll worry about myself, but I just want to let you guys know that I really didn't mean for any of this to happen. The whole virus thing, I couldn't help it. It's not like I didn't want to film anything. I just, there was nothing for me to do. What am I going to do? Just film an update saying that, hey, I'm still looking for a car and uh, I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm good. Yeah. I didn't want to go to meets. I don't want to be in front of crowds or anything. And I don't want to go race my car because I told myself after 2K, that was it, man. Them internals, something could fail. <laughs> something could go wrong. And I definitely can't have anything go wrong with that car, especially now that we're adding the second one to the fleet. So, oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi man, first flight. I'm pretty sure this is the window seat. If this is not the window seat, I'm gonna be a little pissed and I hope I don't get anybody next to me. Now we're gonna have some problems. <laughs> and to proceed to their seats. We are expecting a fairly full flight today. The overhead compartments will not be able to accommodate two care on half a person. Our goal today is to accommodate everyone's care limits, but during this, we must have your full cooperation. As a courtesy to the Just the comfortable seats, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> that's good enough for me. Seat 1A. First class. Can <laughs> I need some food. It's kind of chilly out here. I uh, ordered some food because I was going to walk to the Denny's, but it started raining and uh, I don't really want to walk in the rain. So And then I bring a hoodie, so kind of stupid. I didn't think I was going to need a hoodie, but uh, let's see what the weather is like right now. It is 64. Let me tell you guys where I'm even at right now. I am currently in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I never thought I was gonna end up back here, man. The last time that I was here in Milwaukee was in 2015, and I was in high school. I think I was a sophomore in high school, and I went with two of my friends and my dad. We drove here to Milwaukee from Minnesota to see a Logic concert, and that's when I was a big Logic fan. Like, I went to three or four of his concerts, and I think in this Wisconsin concert, I actually got VIP and met him, and it was dope. That was. Jeez, it's like six years ago, man, but that's crazy that uh, I'm back here doing this crazy thing tomorrow, and uh, yeah. I also got like uh, the closest hotel to the airport uh, because the dealership is like 20 minutes away from here, so as soon as I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to take an Uber there, be right there when they open up, guys waiting for me, and uh See what happens. I hope it goes as smooth as the Shelby, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Damn, it's actually kind of cold right now. All right, cool. 
Like I said, I am currently in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I just got my Uber, but I had to the dealership. I'm really nervous, but here we go, man. Here we go. I'm just about to pull up. It's cold, man. It's cold. This is what I'm here for. Oh my god. I'm freaking out right now. I gotta. Oh my gosh. It doesn't get much better. It looks awesome. It feels really comfortable already. Familiar with stick? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Start it up then. mode so the, the exhaust would be like open or something like yeah. that. Try it. That'll give it a little gas. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Weather, eco, tour. Tour. Tour is probably the best one to drive in. Oh, I can hear the thing, like, it opens up, right? Yeah. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, and this is suede right here. All oh, this is suede? Yep. Oh my gosh, I did not know this that. This comes off. Yeah, I saw the pictures that this, was, this came off. Oh my gosh. This is all suede. Wow. And 11,000 miles, that is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> so, this is what I've been looking for for the past three and a half months, all right? Oh, damn, it's super low. This is what I've been looking for, man. A Laguna Blue C7Z06. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, this one already has some different wheels and it doesn't have the splitters and the side skirts that I want. But at this point, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to take it on test drive right now and then uh, see what we can do, man. All right. All new tires on it. No tires, great, great. Cool, I'm ready. Let's go for a ride. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. It's okay if I record, right? Yeah, Okay. <laughs> First test drive. First test drive. I just wanna see, so I'm gonna turn the AC off. The AC's off. Oh, it's you on. got the... Um, and then the seats are adjustable, correct? Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's so In cool. It has, ways. The, has the power things. Not all of them have the sliding, right? No. It has got a memory seat. So 11,000 miles and this uh, had two, two owners? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. One thing I won't do is lie to you about anything. That's fine, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I don't know the answer, I'll say I don't know it and I'll get it. No problem. And you said make Left. a... At the light. At the light, okay. 30 pretty solid so far, I can see the... And I could change the display on that too, yes. correct? That's awesome. Wow. You can see the display right there, wow. That's pretty cool. It's 
smooth. I like it. <laughs> it's a smooth, smooth ride. Feels pretty solid. I don't hear any like weird noises or anything. Pretty sure it was nicely ma maintained. Oh yeah. At eleven thousand miles. Yeah. Five years. Yeah. Six years almost. Now. It's probably like garage kept or something. Or maybe like Never a weekend. Never seen bad weather, that type of thing. Good, good. was a car we bought and my car manager has the uh, story behind it okay where it came out of and all that I stuff. would love to know that yeah. <laughs> we're real picky when we buy these cars yeah and where they came from that's what, good what kind of records they have you know it just doesn't just buy one to buy one that's good good to know I mean we've had some uh, we had a ZL11 LE that came out of uh, California with 6,000 miles on it. Wow. California, that's good. Which was a real rare car. Let's go make it yours. I hope so. <laughs> oh man, it's low. <laughs> oh god. 